You're fighting with your dad. <laughs> Talk over. Oh, she won. Looney won. What a name. We Once a month, we have a fire alarm drill. It honestly feels like way more often than that. And look at little baby Luna. She's hiding in her Christmas bed. She's staring up at the fire alarm and she's not going to sleep. I'm gonna put on some nice festive Christmas music and hang out with little Luna for a bit, my little angel. Guys, look what Nikita just brought. Me and Jules, a little Christmas holiday latte. Babe, what did you get us? I think he's washing his hands, which you should always do, guys, when you get home. But how sweet is he? Um, Lisa's boyfriend. This is mine, the green green tea matcha. You got green tea matcha, okay? And Thanks, what? kids! <laughs> sure. <laughs> what is this? Let's see. This is the... Don't oh, put it in my cackle, please. You put it in last Roast tea. <laughs> roast tea with oat. Oh, oat milk. oat milk. Nice. And this is the cra uh, caramel brulee. Oh, Ooh. thank you, babe. Yeah. That is so You're sweet. You're so sweet. We'll share. Really? Me and Jules will yeah, share. Yeah, we'll share a little bit. Cheers, go, guys. Go wild Cheers. ladies. Cheers. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. We're sponsored by Star yeah, Hot I wish. <laughs> so today for lunch or for dinner, because I like to have a big lunch so that it's my lunch and dinner, but I'm having some trout. So Nikita and I are having trout and I did it in the sous vide, which basically just means that you cook your food in a controlled environment so the water is set. You get to set it for how much you want it for, so the doneness of the actual fish, and you could even leave this in there for like many hours and it will never overcook, so that's really interesting. So today I kind of just put in anything that I could find really, whatever I had in the house, because we're running out of ingredients. So there's some onions, some cilantro, some tangerines, because I didn't have citrus, and there's some salt, pepper, a little bit of herbs and spices, and hopefully this will turn out to be really good. I put a bit of white wine inside and also some olive oil, so. This is gonna do its thing, and then I'm going to pan fry it just for a little bit of crispness on the outside, and that is it, folks. So I just took out the trout, I skinned it. It was really easy to skin it after it was in the sous vide, and I put it skin side down, and now I'm just going to basically grill it up for maybe a minute or two per side. And then the sauce is going to go into the pan to reduce really quickly, and then we're done. I'll show you guys what it looks like. The white wine, the onions, everything, the orange juice, all things, herbs and everything, is just getting reduced down so that we cook it down to be a little bit syrupy. So it's going to go on top of our now seared fish. Look how delicious that looks. Mm, I'm so excited. And I also made a quick Greek salad. It's sort of like a mix between a Greek salad and a panzanella salad. I use these gluten-free stuffing, actually. They're kind of like croutons, so they're going to be really good as the broad element in this, which is the panzanella side. And then it's just classic Greek salad, tomatoes, red onions, feta, a lot of cucumbers. I love cucumbers, oregano, red wine vinegar, extra virgin olive oil, and salt and pepper. And that is basically all it takes to make a delicious Greek salad panzanella salad. And that's the final product, guys. It looks really delicious. It actually looks very festive with the orange on top, so maybe it was a nice idea that I ran out of lemon. <laughs> with a little clementine, we're gonna have this with some salad. <gasps> to die for. <laughs> bon appetit, enjoy. <laughs> nice lunch break you're having. Love it. Because we did Delish. The, um... Letting little Luna run on our terrace upstairs. She's doing a nice pee. She's getting ready for a nice pee. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there she goes. Look at this adorable Star Wars wrapping paper. I think I got this at HomeSense last year and I still have it, I love this. So I'm going to be wrapping Nikita's gift in this, his birthday gift. His birthday is December 5th, so stay tuned for a little vlog on that. But I'm going to be wrapping in Christmas wrapping paper because tis the season <laughs> and this is really cute. We both love Star Wars. I won't be showing you guys what I got him, so you'll have to stay tuned for that vlog. Hello, hello. I wrapped the gift, guys. I'm not even showing it to you in fear that I will reveal what it is. <laughs> but Looney was so curious when I was wrapping. Now I'm having a laugh because I'm looking at my messages from my dad. Every single story I put, he wrote, aw, 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 aw. <laughs> I said, are you feeling all right? Do your parents ever like each of your stories, like every single one, even though no one can see their comments but you? My mom and dad both do it. My mom always hearts every story that I make and my dad always writes, apparently, all. They're so cute, my parents. And just to show you guys, this is my mom, okay? <laughs> every story with hired eyes. Are my parents not so similar or what? 
It's that time of the day, guys. Advent calendar time. Nikita is in a meeting, so I'm going to open his little advent calendar for him. And please, guys, let me know if you actually enjoy me unboxing these advent calendars or if you're thinking, okay, that's enough now. But I think that it's really cute when people do this, and I'm so curious. A little tea with clove, cinnamon, cardamom, garlic. Turmeric and echinacea? Oh my gosh, I'm I so curious. Like I know, it won't be that strong. <laughs> what is mine today? Let's see. Mine is organic green tea with cinnamon, peppermint, and licorice. So very clean and simple. This actually looks digestive and I'm quite full from lunch, so this is right up my alley. <laughs> I made our little teas. I took a sip of Nikita's tea and I definitely don't taste any garlic, so can't go wrong with a cute little advent calendar. Day three. Oh, this is actually my favorite. Oops. Chocobon. This is like the little egg, but there's crunchies inside. It's really delicious. So this was day three of Kinder. Now let's do Ferrero. This is Attic's favorite. Aw, oh, the classic one. The one I don't really like that much, even though it is good. I don't know why. I'm not a huge fan of this one. It's the weirdest thing, but these are your classic Ferrero Rocher chocolates. Yummy. Chocolates favoris and my favorite advent calendar. Number let's three. see. Wait for oh. me. I actually opened that pretty good today. Oh, and I have to flip it because they're always backwards and, and they're the so pesties. pretty. Oh my gosh, uh -huh. it's so pretty. So this says, it's two layers. Wow, it says homemade blackcurrant jam, ganache made with milk chocolate and creme de cassis. Wow, very nice. How gorgeous is that? Beautiful. That jam inside is so tart and the sweetness of the milk chocolate, it's such a delicious combination. Love this one. And it was so beautiful too. Yummy. This is the inside of that Kinder Chocobon. Mm, it's really good. There's hazelnuts inside. It's like a milky hazelnut. Very delicious. Okay, Luna, she knows exactly what time it is today. Let's find day three and give her her little treat. Okay, three little cubes. Okay, Luna, sit. Luna, sit. <laughs> give me the paw, give me the paw. Good girl, okay. There you go, that's number one. <laughs> And the last treat for my little Luna. Good girl, Looney. So as you can see, I got very lightly ready. This makeup look took me, I think, honestly, five minutes. I just put on a simple, quick foundation, did a quick, well, nothing else really that crazy. I just did a little touch of mascara and a lip, and I just brushed my brows. I did them very clean. And that's it, guys. So I'm going to be going to the mall with Nikita, Jules, and Attic. And we're just going to be doing a little bit of mall cardio, as I like to call it, because it was too cold to walk outside today. And usually when we can, we like to do like a 5K walk in the neighborhood. So we're just gonna walk around the mall a little bit, check out a few stores and things like that. So I just got lately ready and I'm in my pajamas now, but I'm gonna just get dressed and we're gonna head out the door. And guys, here is my comfy OOTD with Nikita. <laughs> <laughs> You're yelling in the background. <laughs> too much PlayStation! I too much do. PlayStation! <laughs> so guys, a super simple, quick and casual OOTD, which is outfit of the day. It's this long, comfortable turtleneck sweater. It's so soft. I think I got this at H&M like a couple years ago, but it's really cozy and soft and just a pair of tights. This is my favorite thing to shop in because I feel like I'm wearing pajamas. So throwing a nice coat over this and you are good to go. People can hardly tell that you're super comfy, guys. <laughs> Aw, you look adorable. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> guys, I just showed you my little outfit of the day. Jules oh is God. wearing the exact same Literally, thing as me. Black tights. <laughs> black tights, this exact same sweater because we both bought the same sweater years ago and I walk into a room and we put the same one on. Yeah. Like, why are we just twins? We should have been we twins. can't help it. So guys, I'm not changing and neither are you. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be. Wear I'm wearing my new jacket, so you better not wear it. No, no, okay, fine. I'll wear a different color. Okay. Fine. Why don't you can just stay home, guys? The guilt I feel when I leave Luna at home is like unreal. I'm putting the sweater that I wore in her bed so that she can smell me. I love you, baby. I'll be back soon, okay? Bye, my angel. Oh my gosh, you're so sweet. We're not home. Are you being a good munch game? I love you, I love you. Actually good that I went and I did my returns on his little Luna right here. <laughs> She's so cozy. She's very camera shy, but look at her. Look how sweet she is. So yeah, it's good that I actually did my returns. I exchanged it for this really cute top at H&M. I'm gonna show it to you guys. Normally I wouldn't have spent $30 on a sweater at H&M, but it ended up costing me only $5 because I returned these sale items. So I think it's such a cute thing. I'm gonna show you guys. As well, I got my birthday gift from Sephora. So I got my little 
bum bum cream set. I'm so excited. This was actually probably one of the best birthday gifts that Sephora did, so I was really happy to pick this up as well. And yeah, all in all, it was a useful, fun mall trip. I'll show you guys a little bit of what I got. Nothing crazy, but just a few things. Right, babe? We got a couple things from, <laughs> from HomeSense. Are you pooped or what? I'm tired. Ah, aw. She's such a good girl. I love when she does this and nestles on me, guys. How adorable is she? Okay, so first things first at HomeSense, I couldn't resist, even though I don't need any more Christmas mugs. I got this cute little Santa Christmas mug. I believe Jules got the exact same one, so at least we have the set here. And it's just so cute, and I like this because you can actually microwave it. A lot of the Christmas mugs have that gold on it so that you can't microwave it. And it was $6.99 at Winners. It was too cute to resist. The Santa looks so like classic and almost kitschy in a way, but he's really cute. So he's gonna be my cappuccino mug for the holiday season season for now. And like I said, I wouldn't have normally paid $29.99 for this sweater, but you can do exchanges. I'm going to show it to you on the bed so you can see little patoots. But I could have done an exchange, so this ended up only being $5 because I needed to spend over $25. And look how cute, guys. Jen is going to diss me for this because she actually doesn't like Love Actually. But I watched it again recently on TV and it was actually cuter than I remembered. And this scene is obviously the best scene, guys. Say it's carol singers. To me, you are perfect. And my wasted heart will love you. Merry Christmas. I just thought this was such a cute, cozy sweater. Cute it is. Luna, she's smelling it so much. So yeah, this is gonna be my little festive Christmas sweater. I thought it was very adorable. So guys, anytime Nikita and I are in close proximity and we're kissing, Luna inserts herself violently in the middle and is like, hey, what about me? So I put all of my shopping little things away. I didn't get much as you guys saw, but I felt like it was very purposeful, the shopping trip. There's a few little add-on gift things that I can't show you guys, of course, because who knows who's gonna watch my video, but it was a fun day at the mall, just getting some steps in and walking around. And because malls are still open in my area, it's actually nice to take advantage and to actually visit a mall just to get out of it, of course, guys. It's just, it was a good thing to do today, so yeah. I didn't, of course, take you to the mall, but I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I got anyways and having this fun little day with me. This was basically a very cozy, at-home sort of vlog, so if you guys like these, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you're enjoying Vlogmas, please let me know in the comments down below. I love that you guys are following along with me and hopefully these vlogs can make you feel a little bit more festive for the holiday season. So I'm just, of course, as you can see, in my pajamas and we're probably about to watch a movie or or actually Nikita and I are watching the series The Queen's Gambit and we love it we're on the last episode so by the time you see this we'll be finished because we're gonna watch the last episode tonight it's really really good so I highly recommend that on Netflix if you guys haven't already seen it but yeah we'll probably settle down watch a little Christmas movie get cozy and then head to bed so I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next vlog bye guys happy vlogmas